Hello and welcome to my channel, Becoming Bev. Today I'm coming to you from Southeast Missouri and I'm caught in the middle of a blizzard, snowstorm. It's 29 degrees here right now and quickly headed down to 21. I don't know if you can hear outside the van, but the sleet is hitting the van right now. So I think it's a perfect opportunity to talk about staying warm in the van. This time last year, I had spent a couple of months in Florida, and I'm telling you right now, I'm missing that Florida sunshine and that beautiful weather. I typically try to avoid cold weather, but sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and you end up getting caught in a situation like this. Let me share with you the ways that I keep warm in the van. So when I saw this winter storm was coming through, the first thing that I wanted to make sure of was that I was gonna be plugged in. My heater will run in the van, but not for a long time. It runs that house battery down fairly fast, so I could probably get a night's sleep out of running the heater, but nothing 24 seven that would run that house battery down too fast. I have three different ways to heat the van when it's cold. The first way is just to use this little electric heater um, it's on a thermostat, which I think is important. And when I'm sleeping in the van at night, I set it on minimum and I turn it on one and I set the heater in the floor and that seems to keep the van comfortable for me. And this is just a $15 heater that I picked up at Walmart. And then if I don't have electricity or if my house battery goes dead and it's still cold in the van, I got a Mr. Heater Little Buddy. Obviously I don't have it hooked up right now, but the can of propane goes right here and then it sits in this little holder. So it's basically sitting like this. This little buddy saved my butt a couple of times last year when I was boondocking and it got down in the 20s and got so cold in the van. So I've only had to use it a couple of times, but I always have it with me in the wintertime and I'm super happy with how it warms the van. When you use this, you do have to vent a window. So I just put a little crack in this, one of the side windows. I set this in the floor of the van, make sure nothing's around it. But you can see right here, that the flame is pretty far down there. So I feel pretty comfortable the flame's not gonna come out, but obviously I wanna keep anything loose away from that open flame. And then the other way to keep warm in the van, and I've done this a few times, is just turn the van on and let the heater run. That tends to heat the van up pretty quickly and it's great just to knock the chill out of the air. I know some people that have even installed automatic starts on the vehicle so they could just lay in bed, press the button, start the van and have it warm up before they actually get out of bed. I think that's a pretty smart idea. And if I were spending lots more time in winter weather, I would probably do that. Now, as far as keeping warm when I sleep at night, I have a lot of warm blankets on my bed, so my body really never gets cold. I put the shades down, I put the curtains down, that acts as a bit of insulation, but then I also use my throw pillows for insulation and I stack those in the windows as well. Another thing that I have to keep warm with is this electric shaw. Basically it's like an electric blanket, but let me show you how this one works. I wrap it around me like this, like a shaw, and then it plugs in, so I can plug it into my Ocmo battery source here. And then I just turn it on like a normal electric blanket. So this is really nice when I'm sitting in the van like this, it keeps me all snuggly and warm and it doesn't use a lot of electricity or battery. And then if my head gets cold, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably know where I'm about to go with this right now. <laughs> I put on my bunny hat, it keeps my head warm it keeps my ears warm i can toss this around it keeps my neck a little bit warm and if i get bored i can play with the ears <laughs> so this is another way i can keep warm in the van <laughs> i'll put a link to all of these items in the video description <laughs> if you've seen my van you know that it has a lot of windows and a lot of cold air and hot air come in and out of the van through these windows. Even just pulling the curtains closed on the cab on these cold days helps keep the van a little bit warmer. When the van is parked at night in cold weather, it's important to keep a little bit of a heater running. So I do try to stay plugged in. I had a situation where my water wasn't working. And as it turns out, water froze in the little water pump. 
and it had to be defrosted before my water pump and my water would work again. I've learned that lesson. I now know to keep a heater plugged in, in the van to keep that water from freezing. So what do I do in the van on days like today? As I mentioned last week, I'm attending online dive school. I'm appreciating the time to study and it's kind of surreal and nice to be sitting in here right now with the snow and the sleet and I can kind of hear it on the top of the van. So I'll take advantage of this time to continue working on my dive school. And at some point today, when the weather lets up, I want to get outside and take a walk. There's something really magical about the ice formations and a fresh layer of snow on the ground. There's a purity to it and a cleansing almost. So I definitely want to get out and do a bit of exploring and enjoy that. knows me well knows that I typically avoid cold weather so I want to share with you a gift that I received so the brand on this vest is called FT Vogue and it's an electric vest I just press the little button here hold it down for three seconds once it stops flashing red the vest is totally heated up and on high it has two more settings it has a medium setting and a low setting so on high, the vest stays warm when the battery is fully charged for about three hours, on medium six hours, and on low nine hours. It has like a little heating coil too, like in the back of the neck. So my neck feels nice and warm, my body feels warm. And then I wanna show you how it works here. Basically, it has a little battery pack. You could also use it to charge your cell phone. And then it plugs in and the battery pack is what keeps the vest warm. And it fits snugly in this little pocket right here on the vest. Now, the vest is also washable. You can throw it in the washing machine and obviously you wanna take the battery out first. I love a thoughtful gift and I just wanna say thank you so much for my vest. I love it and it's keeping me nice and snuggly and warm. I'll put a link to the vest in the video description. I also received another gift this week, this really cool plaque that says difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. And that's certainly been the case in my life. Some of the most difficult times have ended up leading to beautiful situations. I'm so thankful for that. And I'm thankful that I have enough life experience now to know that even if something seems a bit upsetting in the moment, if I give it enough time and give it enough distance, I can see the benefit of having gone through whatever the situation is. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for watching. I'm all snuggly and warm in the van today, and I hope wherever you're at, you're all snuggly and warm too. And you keep watching, and I'll keep posting content. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Thanks for being on the journey with you. Not with you, with me. <laughs> Jeez. Oh.